Well, it's been a little bit of a while, hasn't it? Q&A videos? Well, they're back. It's exciting. I know. You should be excited about it. Thanks to all of you that submitted your questions. Uh, too many for me to answer every single one of them, so keep asking them every time I ask one. You never know when yours will be answered. Just make sure they're good ones, and it increases your chances of being on here. Let's go ahead and get started, though. Cut through the crap. King Chris won. Where the fuck are WrestleMania 35 review at? Well, with that attitude, young man, you're going to have to continue to wait, and I might be awfully tempted to make it wait until next year. I might make it wait until next year you keep it up. Like, redo the WrestleMania retro review series and do all of them and do 1 through 35. Like, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. The more you ask, the longer you wait. Keys 10 asks, where would the WWE be if The Rock never left for Hollywood? I think that's an interesting question. Um, I honestly don't know how much longer The Rock would have done wrestling. Uh, never struck me as a guy that was going to do it until he was 40 or 45 years old, if that makes sense. Like, maybe he would have stuck around another four or five years and he would have went and done something else. Um, how much different would the WWE be? Hmm. It's a great question. Like, would the crowds have eventually not been as excited for The Rock? And with the lack of other star power around him, would it have not been the same and not worked as well? I think it's an interesting question. Kilich Mukach Mukahid. I'm so sorry. Let's try that again. Kilink Mukahid. I hope I got that at least close to correct. How long should Kofi keep the title? And against who should he lose it? Boy, if I say Randy Orton at SummerSlam, are people going to fly off the handle at me of all people? Me saying he should lose the title to Randy Orton at SummerSlam? Maybe. Maybe. Especially if you want to tell a real story. Legendary AP, which match should be the main event of SummerSlam? And I think this is an interesting question. Because beyond question, the match to me that has the most interest, the most story, is Randy Orton versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship. It's a world title. It's got story that runs a decade plus. Easily should be the main event of SummerSlam. Beyond question. That said, do you really want to be the main event of a four plus hour, five damn hour show? Would you rather be right there in the middle of the show where the crowd is still lively, the crowd is still into it? Is that really the main event spot now for these big WWE pay-per-views? I feel like that's a fair question to ask. So in theory, to me beyond question, it is Orton versus Kofi for the WWE title. But I might rather see that match in the middle of the card. But it'll be my main event of Mania for sure, or SummerSlam for sure. Wrestling Rants. Assuming Taker gets a proper retirement match at WrestleMania, who should he face? Is there anybody on the active roster, like, full-time that deserves that spot? Hell no. Like, if he's going to have a retirement match at this point, it'd have to be Cena, wouldn't it? I mean, I know they technically already faced off at WrestleMania 34, but, I mean, does that really count? Like, if you're going to do a retirement match, it's got to be Cena, I would think. Uh, my name, 999-56508. Will Velveteen Dream be the next phase of WWE? <laughs> now, that is not an indictment against the Velveteen Dream. He is a talent. He's good. The face of WWE. Huh. We need to figure out if that gimmick even works at the main roster level first. Center 51190. Which match was more important to The Undertaker's career? Shawn Michaels, Hell in a Cell at Bad Blood, or Mick Foley, Hell in a Cell at King of the Ring? I think the Mick Foley, Hell in a Cell match, like if you think about it, that's Mick Foley's match. The Undertaker was just a prop. It was Mick Foley's match. The Shawn Michaels one, because it introduced Kane, was so much more significant, so much more important to Taker's career on a variety of different levels. Mid Carter J, which one was a bigger form of justice? Kofi winning the WWE title or Sig <laughs> second rope kick? 
<laughs> it was a kick of justice. I bet Sid wished he would have played softball that day. <laughs> he went off the second row. He was Johnny Ace. <laughs> Johnny Ace told him he needed to expand his offensive repertoire. And of course, it was Steiner. <laughs> that was in the match. And it's Sid is sitting there, his legs shattered into like a thousand different directions and pieces. Steiner bumps into his leg multiple times. <laughs> now, if you want a question, like, I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what your fucking question was, and I don't care, because we're talking about Sid, damn it! Because Sid rolls are rolling, and I'm still pissed he wasn't at the Royal Reunion. Here's the question for all of you. If you had a thousand dollars to blow for lessons from somebody in professional wrestling, what would you rather spend that thousand dollars on? Scott Steiner math lessons or Psycho Sid softball lessons? Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. The thought of either one is awesome. EMC on 98, what three wrestlers in their prime would you pick for today's wrestling climate? Three wrestlers, any time, any era in their prime that you would bring into WWE today. Number one, the British Bulldog. Because his lack of abilities on the mic wouldn't have mattered. He would be a star. Especially... If he had, as you see up there, what's that, Winston, the bulldog with him? If he had the damn dog with him, he could be a mega star. Uh, Mick Foley would be another one because he would have enough hardcore fans respect him for what he had put his body through, his versatility on the mic, his ability to play multiple different characters that had some uniqueness and some combination to him. I think he would definitely be another guy. Um, and then the third one... Just thinking about it, probably have to be Shawn Michaels. Because he, he could do everything, and he wasn't a big dude, which today's fan base seems to love. Hmm. Those would be the three guys that I could think of. The British Bulldog, and there are others I could think of too. Don't get me wrong. But the British Bulldog, Mick Foley, Shawn Michaels. Um, that one kid, 876. What will WWE's next desperate ploy for ratings be? I guess we'll find out in October when SmackDown goes live on Fox. Little DJ Boy, have fans lowered the standards of pro wrestling? I think it's been a combination effect of fans have lowered the standards, wrestling media, dirt sheets, journalists have lowered the standards, wrestlers, the wrestling business as a whole, have all combined to lower the standards. Mason Clark, do you think WrestleMania will ever come to Wisconsin? What are they going to do? Fucking have it in Lambeau Field at the beginning of April? Are you nuts? And where, where the hell are you going to have it? Where are you going to have it? No. And you're not going to have it in Wisconsin. And newsflash, Mason. Ain't shit there. The best thing about going to Wisconsin is when you're on the way back out of Wisconsin. Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking cheeseheads. Jordy! What's a potential big storyline the WWE could do to spice up ratings? Would be to bring Ronda Rousey back and have her pursue one of the two men's world titles. That's your big story. There would be a desperate ploy for ratings, but that would be an attempt to spice up the ratings for sure. Uh, one Alex Sutcliffe. Should Braun Strowman be the guy to win the universal title for Brock Lesnar? Yes, why not? Why the hell not? Because it doesn't matter anyways, but maybe he does something with it. And it has truly gotten to the point, you know, you really don't do much with Braun anyways. Why not do something before it truly, truly is too late if it's not already? Dylan Johnson. Who's winning in a street fight? Vince's quads or Charlotte's dick? Vince's quads tear on command, damn it. And both at the same time. But Charlotte's dick can rip through assholes like nobody's business. You'd have to imagine there's got to be Charlotte's dick in a street fight. And I think Kevin Nash could tear a quad to this. 
Chrysler official. How can WWE ruin the Luchasaurus gimmick? Do you really have to fucking ask? They put him in Lucha House Party. End of discussion. Even though when you go to the live events, the house shows, that Lucha House Party gimmick works in person. People like it. They're into it. But they would find a way to fuck up. They would find a way to fuck it up. You know they would. They would have Luchasaurus run over fucking Kalisto with a goddamn lowrider or something and said he did it for Rey Mysterio. That's what the shit they would do. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Would that be the worst in the fucking world? Anyways, the Titan Zero. Do you think that AEW should pursue a partnership with New Japan? Uh, based off of some of the guys they had, don't they kind of already quasi have one? Um, why not? Why not? But I would be more focused right now on establishing your own brand and your own identity and not worried about other people. Cyanide Rain. If Cody Rhodes, Brandy Rhodes, Kayla Braxton, Seth Rollins, Jordan Grace, Peyton, and Sienna are in a room, who gets offended first? By God, you want to talk about a pussy bowl right there, and I'm thankful that you included Cody Rhodes in there. Who the fuck would get offended first? Mm. Now, you would think I would say Cody. No, I wouldn't say that. You would think I would say one of the other women, and as easy as it would be for some of them, probably, especially Jordan Grace, I'm going to go Seth Rollins. Based off of what we've seen recently, he might be the biggest vag patch in wrestling right now. If you threw a bad boy Joey Danell into this mix, we got a different conversation. Uh, Val fan 531 pick four guys from Raw and four guys from SmackDown to build a main event scene around. Do we even, are the split rosters even a thing anymore? Ah, fuck it, who cares? It doesn't matter. I could say, well, you do Braun and Roman and Big E and so on and so forth, and it don't matter. It just doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it at that. And that's not just a lazy excuse because it's really late at night when I'm recording this and I'm tired and I want to go to bed and I don't want to think about it. Uh, even though that's the real life reason. Uh, so anyways, thanks to all you guys that submitted your questions. I'll try and do this every week. In the meantime, check out some of the other recent videos on this channel and check out the other videos soon to come. Later.